In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a reflection to the glass. So here's the image that I'm going to add to it. So I'm just doing Control A, Control C to copy. Let's go back here and Control V to paste. And I'm going to disable that for now. And I'm going down here to the background. Let's go here to the left, select the object selection tool. And I'm going to select this. And I'm just going down here, create a new folder, select the mask. And just name that class number one. Let's go down to the background. I'm gonna do the same thing. Make sure the object selection is selected. And I'm gonna select this one. So you can see this one is selecting like around it. This one, they did a good job. But for some reason, it's like that. So let's, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I do that. No, it's that much better. So now let's go ahead and create a new folder and select the mask. Stand that glass number two. And let's go ahead and select our selection tool here. And here's our image that we want to put on the reflection. I'm going to right click, convert to a smart object. And I'll put this inside the glass number one. And you can see there. Just make a copy again. And let's put it into glass number two. Don't want to move all that, just this one. So kind of like that. So the eyes here. And let's do control T. And let's right click perspective. Just add a little bit of perspective to it like that. Same thing here, control T. Right click perspective. Maybe like that. All right, now let's change the blending mode to lighten. Same thing for this one, lighten. Now select the mask. Let's invert the mask. Let's do Control I. B for brush. Make sure that's white. Hardness all the way down. Bring the size of the brush up, kind of like that. Brush that in. Bring the size of the brush down. Brush that in. Same thing here. Select the mask, control I, B for brush, make sure that's white. Bring the size of it down. Now, if you want to move any of the, um, the image, say glass number two, uncheck this and make sure the selection tool is selected. And you can move that around like that. But I'm going to leave it like that. Same thing here, you could uncheck that, move that around. But I'm going to leave it like that. And the cool thing about this, right? So if you double click the smart object and let's say you want to add a new, um, say a new uh, artwork, right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. So I'm doing control V, already copied it. And I'm just going to hit control T, bring the size of this up and bring that to the middle. And when you save this, it should update here. And it's kind of hard to see, but let's go Class number one, control T, hold shift and alt, bring the size of it down. Same thing here, control T, hold shift and alt, bring the size of that down. So yeah, so that's the cool thing about converting to a smart object. You could always change the, uh, the artwork without redoing everything. So that's how you add an image to a piece of glass.